All right, hey. It's been a week. Back to Hollow Rim. I have been wanting to play this, but I haven't had a chance to stream. But finally, we can get back into it. So last time we opened up the Ancient Danger down here, so now we have a whole bunch of cryopods with who knows who inside them. So we're going to play a little bit of gacha and see if we can get some hollow mems out of them. We also got a psychic ship part last time, like at the very end, just before we opened the Ancient Danger. Perfect timing. So we need to deal with this. I should probably do that first. Maybe? I don't know. Now, I might disassemble these. Can't move them, unfortunately. Same with this one. These turrets, though, I can move. This I can't move. But yeah, they're kind of useless down here now. If we actually barely needed any of this. I mean, this one EMP turret did a little bit of damage and held them off. It looks like one EMP turret is enough to keep all of them back. So... It might be good for me to just build one of these right here. <clears throat> and if I'm coughing a little bit, sorry, I have a little bit of a cough, getting over a cold. So apologies for that. Yeah, if I put it there though, I mean, it's going to obviously knock these out, but these ones will be okay. These are also pretty expensive to build, but I'm going to be deconstructing those other ones, so... Let's go ahead and take these apart. Reinstall... You... Yeah, let's go, let's go there. I don't know where I'm going to put all these turrets. I might just get rid of some of them, actually. don't really have a room for them, and I don't think I really need them. Oh, I should put one here, actually. can at least do that. Okay. Oh yeah, EMPs as well. Let's go ahead and move these. Did they not... Wait, what is this? Why... Somebody just gave up moving that? Okay. Probably a robot, if I had to guess. Did they not set off any of these EMPs? I don't think they did. It's kind of surprising. Actually, this is going to be useless there, but whatever. Because these have a really big explosive radius, actually. Oops, I don't know, put one there. I actually kind of don't like that they're so big. Because, I mean, this one's going to take out this turret. Even this one might take out this turret, which kind of defeats the purpose, right? Because then nobody's going to be shooting at them as they're disabled. Ooh, lag. I don't know what that was. Cargo pods. All right. I should probably just click on it and tell me to, to go to it. Camel hide pants. All right, sure. It's something, right? Okay, this robot's disassembling that. Quest expires in 24 hours. I don't think I care. We have, we have a lot of stuff on that right hand side there. Do I actually want this here? I don't know. I might put two more right here. And the problem is, though, it if one of them gets destroyed, they're probably all getting destroyed. It's just kind of how turrets work when you group them together like this. Maybe I'll leave one turret down there just because, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe raiders will go through there for some reason. Ah, also have this. Now, this has a big enough range where I can actually put it back quite a ways, I think. Yeah, if I put it even back way over here, I'd still be able to hit stuff. But I don't really want to do that. Uh, I don't want to put 
put it here. See, our kill box is getting a little bit too cramped for a lot of things. I definitely want to make one, because, I mean, they're crazy good. But at the same time, I don't want to ruin the aesthetic. I guess if I put it here, it can also cover a good chunk of our base in case something gets in. So sure, let's do that. Uh, deconstruct this one, though. Uh, I guess this turret's gonna hang out here. Mokuko's wandering confusion. That's fine. Let's actually check in on what's been going on. Okay, Fauna apparently has stepsons. Interesting. Are she and Crony? Okay, not getting along with a lot of our colonists, actually. About Mume. Yeah? Oh, not getting along with Iris for some reason. Crony seems to like just about everybody, except her daughter. She hates her daughter, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Bay. Okay. She really hates Gumpy. Iris? Doesn't like Nails or Gumpy. Oh, Gumpy's her rival. Ooh, insulting spree. She will follow Mokuko around in hurling insults. Well, Mokuko's kind of already confused, though. So don't know if she's gonna care? Oh no, she does care, unfortunately. Well. Okay, Beatrice. Yeah, Iris sees Gumpy as her rival. Oh, and Mokuko sees Beatrice, so that's why they're going at each other. Well, okay, Beatrice doesn't see Mokuko. Huh. Fuawa? Also sees Gumpy as a rival. And Ame doesn't really like Gumpy. Interesting. A lot of people are not liking Gumpy for some reason. Ah, uh, drone intensifies. They probably just like how he's been treated as the protagonist. He's got that plot armor and just won't die. Oh, he actually sees Katsumi as his rival. Interesting. Uh, coming from the north? They're afraid to enter due to social fighting. I'm sure it'll be fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Why is this forbidden? Colonist needs rescued? Beatrice? Oh. <laughs> Mokuko just... Yeah, they got in a fight. Okay, she should be okay. What about Mokuko? Yep, Mokuko's fine too. <coughs> I'm more worried about Beatrice because Mokuko's melee skill is ridiculous. Probably almost killed her. I'm assuming somebody's coming down here. Mume, you helping? Yes. Okay. I definitely... Can we haul this? The bullet storm? I don't want to lose that. Oh, yeah. We got a whole bunch of boom rats last time. And it's actually going to become an issue. I think... I set them all, to, all the males to be sterilized, but they're... Still working on it slowly. And at the same time, we're getting more boom rats being born. I mean, we started off with, I think, 10, maybe 12 or 11, I don't know, somewhere around here, and all the rest have been born within the past couple days. So they are multiplying very quickly. And it's annoying because I can't slaughter them because they explode when they die. I mean, it's even kind of risky to do the sterilizing surgery on them because they could die during that too. I mean, it's pretty unlikely, but it could happen. Gumpy's granddaughter is visiting. Okay. Really, my only chance of getting rid of them is to sell them. Which, we've had quite a few merchants come through and ships come through, but none of them have been willing to buy them. So we, we just have boom rats hanging out. Eating more of our food, even though we have plenty of food. Oh yeah, last time we bought <laughs> a ton of anchovies. I mean, I think we had 3,000 last time, so we've gone through quite a bit. Build this wall again. In fact, we had so many that they were randomly showing up and just 
weird parts of the map. Like, we had a pile down here for some reason. We had some in the guest bedroom for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, we are good on power. Looks like we've got almost everything built. I haven't gotten the EMP thing built yet. I want to get this built before I start lobbing stuff. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't see it for a moment. I was like, wait, where did it go? But yeah, I'm going to start lobbing mortars at this. And when we hit it, it'll most likely spit out some mechanoids that'll come down here and do their thing. And if they get to this point, this turret should just continuously blast them with EMP blasts. When our turrets, we'll be able to take them out. Uh, let's turn the power back on for this, actually. And why is nobody building this? Cardi, what are you doing? You're cleaning? Oh, that's right. I turned construction off for them so that they wouldn't destroy the wall down here. See, the tactic I used here to get rid of this wall was to make it, make it so that none of our colonists weren't constructing, but then we have these robots. And... I assigned them to area three. So then the robots came down here, and then when I made the build to destroy these walls, the robots did it. So the robots were our sacrificial pawns, which I don't even, did any, either of them die? We have two of them. This one looks good. I think I deactivated them or something. I mean, we have both of them, so either I rebuilt them or repaired them, or they're just perfectly fine. Okay, we are running out of space again. Uh, always with the space. Should I extend our storage room out, actually? It's probably something I should have done a like, long time ago. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. And where do I want the walls to come out to? Because I want to keep the walls... Oh, wow, are we out of slate? Really? do that. Okay. Boomerat 5 is pregnant. Oh, great. More boomerats. Just what we need. We're going to have a ton of neutroglycerin, though. Which is the milk you get from boomerats. And boomalopes. Why are you taming them? Do I have them set to be tamed? Okay. I mean, I guess it's to keep them from going back to the wild. But that actually wouldn't be a bad thing. I'd be okay with them going back to the wild. <laughs> so we are out of slate I thought we had a whole bunch I guess it's granite yeah we have a bunch of granite but not slate um speaking okay we still have the quarry up and running so we are still getting stuff out of that Bay with her what is it anti-material rifle I think yeah <laughs> We got some pretty good guns. Oh, did uh, Beatrice? Yeah, okay. She grabbed her bullet storm again. Good, good. All right, let's hold these open. Oh, I right. I have a grave in here. Because last time we accident well not accidentally we ended up gaining another colonist. We saved somebody from a drop pod, and it said they were extremely loyal. So I just assumed I wouldn't be able to recruit them, but then they ended up joining us. But the problem with that is that it takes up a slot. Which we only have about 18 slots, I think. And we need 15 or 16 to get all the hollow mems. And so if we have one more dude taking up a slot, it's not good. So we kind of uh, indirectly killed him, <laughs> I suppose. He did not have a good time. Let's just put it that way. But I did decide to bury him. His name is M Mansk. M Mans Manx. Manx? I don't know. So should I just leave him in the storage room? <laughs> I don't think there's any mood debuff to that. So, sure, why not, right? So then I'll extend it out to here. Actually, I can destroy this wall here to get a few more slate blocks. Should be enough for at least this inner wall, maybe? If they decide that do it on the inner wall? Probably not the uh, PPC broke down. Oh, you know what? Is this in the home area? It is not. I'm also going to put this in the home area. 
Anything else that should be in the home area that just isn't? This is on purpose here. This kind of, I guess, put it there too so that they restore this turret. Yeah, normally the home area gets automatically expanded when you build stuff. The problem with that though is that you build stuff out here and then your home area gets extended to like four or five spaces around it. And if there's any dirt that ends up there, if somebody goes out there to clean, they're going to go clean that dirt way out there just because it's part of the home area. Beatrice is throwing a party. Is it in a normal location? Kind of. It's in Bay's bedroom for some reason. <laughs> Why? Why are you having a party in Bay's bedroom? Is Bay, Bay is here, okay. Did, is Bay okay with this? Oh, gift. Glitter world medicine, nice. Oh, Mokuko has a poor mood. Yeah, probably from being insulted. What were the insults? Are they already gone? I think they're already gone. From Beatrice. Yeah, they're gone. Dang it. I like seeing the insults because they're crazy and ridiculous. Funny. Wow. I could have traded with all of you? I guess you could do that with most guests. I don't know. Oh yeah, research. I should probably be paying attention to that. Let's actually get this. Panoxicillin. Maybe we can start making that and having our colonists take it regularly to ward off diseases. <laughs> Don't expect a normal party from them. Yeah, they have not had any normal parties at this point. What's up, Remo? Nice to see you. I think the first party was just out in this field, and then they had one here, which I think that's the worst place to throw a party, just in amongst bear traps. So this was actually an improvement, surprisingly. <laughs> so far, I think that's the most normal location, which, yeah, still isn't very normal. Ooh, tattered apparel. Um, oh no, that's actually bad, because that means that the piece of apparel that is tattered, yep, it's her outfit. So, okay. Solution to this, I researched item repair, which is a mod, so that you can make repair kits. At least I think I researched it. You once had a party when a raid was happening? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's this game for you. It, it likes to do things like that. It's funny. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. Did I research it? I should have. Yeah, item repair. Electric repair bench. I think I'm just blind. Nope, that's Taylor. Repair bench, there it is. Okay, steel, uh, I don't know, put it in this corner, sure. So I need to make item repair kits and have them repair their outfits, or else they're gonna eventually just deteriorate to nothing, and then we'll have a bunch of bald holomems walking around. Because the graphic over top of them, that is actually their outfit. It's not their actual model. So if their outfit disappears, they are, they look basically like this. Oh, okay. Got it built. Uh, repair apparel? Oh, you don't make repair kits. Uh, do forever? Is there any way to control? I mean, I know I can do the details here, but I prefer... Actually, you know what? I can just do that. Alright. So that should work. I'm assuming they can repair stuff that they're wearing. Maybe not, though. It's a good question, actually. Ooh, penoxicillin. Excellent. Advanced lights. Doesn't seem super useful. Foam turret? No. Uh, vitals monitor. Sure. Okay. Did we get that turret built? Yes, we did. Okay. What about this one? Yep, we did. More boom rats. Fantastic. Okay, we need to take care of this or else it's going to get bad, especially since it's female. I just noticed that. Okay. Bay? You are one of our best shooters. So if you could target that. 
Naked Hollow Man. <laughs> yeah, the natural nature of every artist. Yeah, it's it's pretty true. <laughs> Okay, I think we have 10 shots. Ooh, that was pretty close. I wonder what kind of... Oh, mechanoids have woken up. Uh, have they? I don't see any. Are there no mechanoids inside? That'd be awesome. I definitely heard one. Is it like... Underneath or something? No? Hmm. Maybe there aren't any. That would be cool. Okay, we're out of shells. Did actually pretty good damage. Hit it a couple times. I think it's 200 per shell, so I hit it twice. Um, Beatrice? You're kind of beat up right now. How close are you? To I mean, you just have bruises and stuff. Your medium pain. What about Gumpy? Gumpy's sleeping. Okay, I'm gonna wait for Gumpy to wake up. And then, oh, wow, we have a whole bunch of stealers sitting there. I'm gonna send him out here to actually just shoot at this thing with his bullet storm gun. And hopefully nothing pops out of it. But if it does, it's Gumpy. Gumpy seems to be almost invincible for some reason. <laughs> He's taken some crazy beatings throughout this, but has always managed to make it through. Oh, Gumpy is up and awake, doing stuff. Training boom rats? No, 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 no. Can't do that. That's not very important. We still have tattered apparel. I might need to force them to drop the outfits before they repair them. Let me shoot from there. Yes. Nothing. Okay, there were absolutely no mechanoids in that ship part. Oh, they do need the bisexual slash lesbian trait for them to become lover. Thank you for answering that. That is something I've been meaning to look up. Okay, you know what? We can actually do that. Just for more fun. Uh, let's see here. Bio, yes. I can go through and... Let's make it by just because. Yep. Okay. That's Ame. Bay. Uh, don't need Beatrice. Although, I guess that would just add another possibility in there, right? <laughs> Feels kind of weird doing this. <laughs> But, I mean, it'll be so much more fun, right? If they start getting in relationships with one another. Lots more drama. More drama, the better in this game. Okay, is that it? Yep, okay. So, now, they should all be bisexual. Okay. We'll have some fun stuff starting. It's kind of weird, though, because Iris and Bay have been ex-lovers since the beginning. I did that on purpose. So, <laughs> I guess they were bisexual, and then, oh my goodness, <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> okay, we got Mokoko and Ame. That was literally, like, an hour until we had one. Okay, I guess you guys get Ame's room, because it'd be kind of awkward if it was with Fuala. And that means Fuala just gets a huge room. That, that was so fast. I've never seen it happen that fast. Um, actually, can I deconstruct this bed completely? I should have better furniture now. Yeah, advanced double bed. Oh my goodness, that takes advanced components. Okay, maybe I don't want that much. Let's just go ergonomic. Yeah, our bedrooms are looking pretty, like, they look like prison cells. I mean, this one is a prison cell. So maybe I should improve those a little bit. 
That is no longer assigned to Ame. Yep. Uh, hopefully we get it built before she tries to go to bed. Oh. Grand uncle of Ame, Trev. Okay. Um, but now that we've taken care of the ship part, we can do these. Now, if I remember correctly, the people inside these can be hostile. So I need to be careful. Have some people on standby to fight them. But also make sure I don't kill them if they're a hollow mem. I mean, there are three possibilities. Either I open it, it's a hollow mem, they're friendly, and I save them. I open it, it's not a hollow mem. And I leave them or save them. I guess there's actually four possibilities. Or I open it, they're hostile, they're hollow mem, and I have to take them down. Or, yeah, there's four possibilities there. That's the gotcha here. Yeah, and I finally fixed the hospital. Yes. Found out that using a moisture pump gets rid of the soft sand. So finally I rid of those two walls that have been bugging me forever. Oh yeah, this TV's turned off. Yeah, there's nobody in there right now, so. And I was, yeah, re I was researching vital monitors. Okay. Oh yeah, we have a whole bunch of these guys. Why aren't we taking these apart? Oh, you know why? Because it's not on, that's why. Are you activated? I think so. I don't know. Animal transport pod. Valentino, a red fox. Interesting. How hurt are you? Uh, you'll be dead in 11 hours. Foxes aren't super useful. And again, I don't want to be using too much food. I mean, our food is going to be going away real fast. Because of all these boom rats, so. Imagine if Robico became a mechanator. That would be cool. Unfortunately, I only made Hollow EN as characters, but I may it's possible for an NPC to show up with Robico's outfit and head. I don't know. I haven't seen that yet. But it is a possibility. I think. Maybe. What are you guys doing? Are you just passing? I'm not going to save Valentina. I'm sorry. I'm just going to finish him off. Sorry, Valentino. Did we turn this on? Yes. Okay. Our robots are on it. Oh yeah, our storage room. We're still waiting on a few walls here. But I should be able to expand this out. There we go. That should solve our storage issues a little bit. Let's also get some concrete in here. And just leave this grave. It's no big deal. <laughs> Actually, I think they'll get a mood boost if they go and they like visit it. So maybe it's good that it's there. Oh, is this moisture pump done, actually? Did it get all of the sand? I think it did. Yeah, so I might be able to get that one up. Okay. <laughs> I was talking about what I was going to do here and got distracted. That's like... Story of this game, right? Get distracted all the time. So... How I'm going to do this, actually... Kind of similar to how I did the wall here. I'm going to restrict the Omnibots to this area here. In order to do that, I'm going to need to move their pad, their charge pad things. In fact, I think the game will yell at me and be like, it's area reset because, yeah. I actually need to move these down here. Let's actually just do one. So put that there, restrict the robots to here, and then put in the orders to open one of these. We'll do them one at a time. Let's have this TV here. Why is nobody grabbing this TV? There's a lot of stuff down here that people are not grabbing. 
let's just disassemble that. A bunch of titanium down here? Is there a reason that... Oh, I guess for one thing, they don't have a good way out. Uh, granite door? Let's remake this entrance. If I have an ideology set up, you can set it to fem x fem. A spouse thing. Okay. I do not actually have ideology. I do not have any of the DLCs. Unfortunately. They never really interested me, so I never got them. The uh, new biotech one looks pretty interesting, though. But the... Oh, what is it? Ideology and whatever the other one is, like... Kingdom or something? Neither of those two really interested me a whole lot, so I never got them. I've always been pretty content with mods. I mean, mods add so much. But yeah, thank you for the information, though. It's good to know if I ever do get the DLC. How are we doing on food? It looks pretty good. Yeah, almost 9,000. Oh yeah, does that bed get made? Uh, about halfway. Empire, that's it. Yep, thank you. It looks like our hydroponics are going well. Oh yeah, I should also be researching more stuff here. Because I want to get the HEL. A little bit of anti-air defense. Cost 3,000. It's expensive. Music DLC? Is that just like the soundtrack that a lot of games have? I do like the music in this game. It's very chill. Be good, like background music. Okay, we got this thing down here. Wait. Oh no, still haven't moved it. Why? Is it just because I have it on such a slow speed? Probably. Yeah, I feel like our defenses are pretty good right now. I mean, these traps alone take out most enemies. We do have a lot going on right now, actually. So, who was building this and just kind of forgot? Okay, boom rats, you need to stop. Okay, what? Which one of these is for sterilizing animals? I would guess doctor. Perform assigned surgeries. Okay, they're already at one. <coughs> so I don't know why they aren't doing it. Did it on two of them. But the other ones, they're just not caring about. Hmm. Visitors relationship. Okay, we got grandmother of nails. Oh, looks like nails almost entire family is here. Oh, Vital's monitor. Cool, cool. And Iris's mother is here. Amelia, that's right. I remember her. Uh, alright. Tattered apparel. Oh man, too much going on. Okay. Gonna have to do this eventually, so... Iris? You're gonna look a little weird for a while. Where are you? <laughs> there you are. Oh, you're also completely naked now. You probably aren't gonna be happy about that. Um... Actually, you're our best crafter, aren't you? Oh, that's why. Because you actually need to make something. Wait, no? Why can't you... Repair items, steel, electric, workbench. Missing materials to repair any damaged items. Okay. <laughs> Why do I have so many boom rats? Uh, I had about 10 of them randomly join my colony last time. Note that I said 10 and now we're up to 20. <laughs> I'm trying to sterilize them so they stop multiplying, but people just aren't doing it for some reason. Um, I think she can't repair this because it's made out of some crazy material. 
Although it doesn't say. Uh huh. Is there any chance that they'll just kind of do it? I can't craft these anywhere. I've checked that. So I might actually have to hack them again for the character editor. Oh, Fuawa and Bay. Interesting. Fuamoko instantly getting some lovers. Let's actually set this up. Uh, and Mo wait, Mokoko, yes. And then I guess, you know what? The only reason Bay said yes is so that she can get this big bedroom. <laughs> okay, let's make another one of these in here. Let's put it right there. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to deconstruct it. Although, one of these beds, oh yeah, okay. Crony's bed is a masterwork, so I don't want to deconstruct that. Alright, Ivers put her stuff back on, but it's still not repaired. Hmm. Okay. It's definitely loud in here. Yeah, right there. Requires one apparel. Yeah. Did that. I don't know why she isn't. Hmm. Not suspended. Are any of these? This one's pretty damaged. Let's see what happens if I allow all. Let's see if they try to repair that. So it might just be because the Hollow Life things are from a mod and they're not set up properly to be considered a peril. So Fawawa and Bay. Interesting. Dog and rat. Nope. Did they... Yeah, they did. <laughs> So we're starting to consolidate rooms, so we're having some empty ones. Days is going to be empty for a while. Okay, there we go. An excellent quality, very nice. All right, Bay and Fuawa. Let's destroy that. Did this... No, still no. Cannot repair item... Okay. What I'm remembering from this mod is that you actually need to make item repair kits. There. Repair kit. I think that's the issue. It's weird that it doesn't come up as required here, like normal things would. But that should fix it, or make it work. Okay, gift, pain stick. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. It can incapacitate somebody immediately at melee range. We also have a pain gun somewhere. Is Ame the one with that? No, she has the triple rocket launcher. Who has the pain gun? Is it Crony? Yes, it is Crony. Because Crony is the fastest, so if somebody's running, she will be able to catch them, hopefully. Although, last time we did have Bibu show up in a raid, and we tried to get her, but she started running away and running this way, and Crony could not catch up to her. So, we know where Bibu is. Bibu is with the Ordo Corp Corporation? Ordo... whatever? What do they call them? No. Combo Treaty, I think. Is that it? No, Ordo's Unification. I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't remember now. Oh, jeez. A lot of stuff happening. Uh, okay, Boomerat18 has hit a trap and died from it. Okay, so that can happen. I wasn't sure if that was possible or not. Where are these popping up? Here? 
That's a weird place for them, but okay. Yeah, you aren't first today, WTF dude. Welcome though. Good to see you. Where did... Oh, get it in here. You know what? Um... <clears throat> Which one of these? Area one. You guys stay out of places like that. Especially the hospital. I feel like that's not a good place. Medical treatment? Oh! Uh, nails? You picked a bad time to go mining. Um. Mm -mm. Beatrice? Gumpy? I don't know where you guys are. I kind of want Ami to go out there with a rocket launcher, but that might not be a good idea. Bay with anti-material could be good. And Mokoko and Fuala for melee. Are they going to keep attacking her? Okay, no. So she might be okay if I can get to her in time. Um, okay. Okay. Bay take the shot. Oh my goodness, Bay missed. I've never seen Bay miss before. You might as well get here. Can you? Oh, Katsumi's incapable of violence. Ah. Fuala and Mokuko. Okay. That's one. Okay. Death Broom Rat 26. Well. Did it fight? Yeah, it fought this thing. Nice. That actually is good. <laughs> oh, hey, Ari. Good to see ya. I am doing well. Hope you're doing well, too. And yeah, Bay missing. I think that's the first time I've seen her miss. Um, Actually, I want you two to come take care of this little guy. Shouldn't be a big deal. And you guys are good. Oh, except... <laughs> kind of forgetting somebody, aren't we? Okay, Omnibot's on it. Where is Omnibot? Is he close? Uh... No. <laughs> Here, Katsumi. You go ahead and take care of that. How badly hurt are you? <sighs> okay. This could be close, actually. Finish it off if you can. Um, I'm just going to leave that body there smoldering. Yeah, bug neighbors visiting. Yeah, weird spot for it too. But no, no other invasions at this point. We took care of the psychic ship from last time. It actually had no mechanoids in it whatsoever, which was weird. So that was easy to take care of. And still haven't opened these. I'm trying to get this robot set up so that the robot can do it and we can keep our people out of danger just in case okay uh where where is nails why did you take nails here of all places and why is nobody <clears throat> okay ame's on it where's ame um, okay she's almost there Oh, wait, no, she's heading there to get medicine. Um, don't you have medicine? Yeah, you have two medicine. Yeah, you need the lurk now? Alright, good luck with calculus, yeah. <laughs> Every mem having bullet storms. Oh, that's the dream right there. Oh, we did get these built. Okay. Yeah, calculus. I remember calculus. That's a lie. I don't remember any calculus. I remember how painful it was, but I don't really remember any of it. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Moomate, you're actually going to be closer. And it looks like you're not going to go get medicine. I don't know why Ame 
was going to get Glitter World medicine. Nails should be okay. However, don't know about infections. It's really weird they put her in here. Okay, anybody else need medical treatment? Nope, just nails. Looks like everybody else was fine. Mokoko and Fuawa took the brunt of that, I believe. And Gumpy. How's Gumpy doing? Oh, yeah, he's fine. Gumpy will always be fine. He's invincible. Um, how are we doing with the robot down here? Why is it... Can you go back to your thing, actually? Oh, we also got a vitals monitor unlocked. So, let's go ahead and build that. Uh... That way? I never know which way to make them face. <laughs> it can be hard to tell with some of the objects. And I know it doesn't matter, but, you know. Just for looks. Yep, there it is. Um, let's get rid of some of these. Infection. Where is it? Torso. Great. Well... Here's hoping... Okay. Looks... I mean, it's not tended yet, but it's still going up. I think she'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also not too worried about losing her. The worst thing about losing her is that her mining skill is ridiculous. But she is... Yeah, incapable of violence. She's a pacifist, so she's not useful for combat. Alright, robot going well. Yep. Um, let's go ahead. Zones. Um, I think it's area three. Yeah. Get it set up right there. And I guess in the morning. Oh, we got all that titanium. Nice. In the morning, I'm going to open one of these. So I need to keep an eye out on nails. Oh yeah, she'll be fine. Our excellent Dr. Mume is all over it. Oh, a little bit of fire from the lightning. Can we get that out, please? Oh, if you open one, you open all. Ah. Oh, that's right, you do. I remember that now. Thank you. Is nail Nails, what are you doing? Yeah, okay. That's good, actually. Okay, so I should be prepared for all of them to open. Let's have... Beatrice there. Gumpy there. Bay there. Boca go there. And Fuawa there. It's like the ultimate tactical formation. And... I guess it's... Like, where's the robot going? Oh, right. I didn't restrict it. Um, it should be this one, I think. All right. If I cancel this and then restart it with a robot. Oh, we still have fires going on. Dang it. <laughs> Come on, fires. I'm in the middle of this right now. Yeah, they may have spacer tech gear. Yep. Oh, I don't really want Ame to open it. I'd really like it if this robot... I can't actually directly control them. Which is kind of annoying. Oh, uh. Okay, Ame. Let's cancel that one. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, luckily, 
They are down. Um, we've got two. Aggroed. Oh, with a pump shotgun, that's not good. Chain shotgun, that's really not good. They'll probably fight each other, right? I'm also not seeing any hollow mems. So that's unfortunate. Okay, chain shotgun's down. Okay, I think they're both down. Cool. Um, who do we want to save? That was a lot easier than expected. <laughs> I was a little worried about that chain shotgun. I feel like that's becoming a trend with me is being way over prepared for stuff. Um, actually, I don't want to save any of you because you're going to take up slots. Yeah, shotgunners had no chance. Oh, wait, this guy's still up. Well, Salazar, you can deal with him. Man. This guy's taking a beating. Okay. Yayo, don't care about that. Um. Okay, I think that's everything. Go ahead and disassemble those. Get some stuff out of them. Why is Animal broken down and wandering confused? Why does Animal have dementia? When did that happen? Animal? Huh. That's new. Oh yeah, the gear I should strip. Good call. Oh, you're already naked. Uh, recon armor is pretty good. Are you... You're just downed. You're not dead yet. You have good stuff too. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think that's everyone. This guy's dead already. So. All right. Lots of stuff, actually. Lots of vomit from cryo sleep sickness. Oh, he's got a bionic leg. Ooh. <laughs> Can I... I kind of want to imprison him and then take the, his bionic leg. He's not going to die anytime soon. Um, who's down here? Flawa? Why are you cloud watching? <laughs> Okay, yep. I am going to... Wait. Capture. I'm going to steal his bionic leg. Oh, wait. Wrong guy? Oh, no. It's four. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to give it to... I think it's Beatrice? That is a... Body modder. Yes. Beatrice, we found you a bionic leg. Um, okay, let's see here. Remove part, left leg. And let's go ahead and bump him up to normal medicine. Although I think he'll be able to, we'll be able to get it regardless. He just might die, which I'm not too worried about. Oh, Fauna's doing it. Oh no, she's tending his injuries. Never mind. Someone else will do it. Fauna is doing it. Okay. Nope. That was just another 10. Probably shouldn't have bumped them up to medicine until I knew they were doing this. Should have kept them on herbal. All right. Leg acquired. Cool. Um, Beatrice? Guess what? Uh, does it matter which leg? It's just bionic leg. It's not... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's put it on left, just to keep it consistent. Put it in the same spot. It's probably a left leg, so it makes sense, right? We still aren't repairing stuff. And we are losing it a lot of power. Mm. 
go frenzy. Let's go Mume. Yep, yep. Beatrice is waiting and operate. Oh, Mume's installing. Uh, good. Hey. Congrats on your bionic leg. Body modder pleased. Nice. Oh yeah, you had an infection. How was that going? <laughs> oh, perfect. Develop immunity. Threat detected. A possible threat. Stabbers will attack via drop pods in approximately two hours. Oof. Now, is this saying where they're dropping? Are they just going to drop here? That seems kind of dumb. Um, Who's out here? Mokoko, I actually don't want you out there. Fuala, I don't want you out there. Gumpy. Okay. Um, is there anybody up here? No, we got some boom rats, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, we do need more raids. It's also a good chance of us getting holomems showing up. Which... Stabbers. Okay, so they will have guns, probably. Gift from Liba, a bolt-action rifle. Greater's relationship. <laughs> Gumpy's son, Wiggles. Nice name. And Crony's uncle, Gecko. Alright, as soon as they pop out. Okay. Check names. Bowman. Onip. Jack. Wiggles. Peggy. Remy, Pam, Adams. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody. So we can just take these guys out. They're also kind of stupid because they drop pod. They could have drop pod right here. Right in the middle of my base. But nope, they decided to go on the outskirts. I'm not complaining. I feel like we've been getting lucky with the raids and threats. I mean, first we had this psychic ship that had no mechanoids in it. Then we got infestation here, which was just three insects, no nests. Oh, traps. Oh, you have grenades. You both have grenades. Gumpy, where are you going? You have Molotovs. Oh, are they leaving? Are they leaving? Oh, they're throwing grenades at the boom rat. Oh. Died in explosion. I guess they grenaded it. Yeah, not the smartest dropping pods. Very true. Okay. Um, I guess strip these guys. Got some beer, flash grenades, a ton of smoke leaf. Wow. Wow, that whole group had grenades. I'm just now noticing. Let's see, frag grenades, Molotov cocktails, frag grenades. Frag grenades. Flash grenades. <laughs> Rip boomerat number 22. And turret. Yeah, turret is gone too. I feel like this turret's going to get destroyed a lot. I lost quite a few walls here too. But that could have been way worse. All of them had grenades of some kind. That is a dangerous raid setup. Oh, you... <clears throat> hmm. Again, if my voice sounds raspy or from coughing, I'm getting over a cold. So, apologies. I'm trying to mute when I cough. Cold's basically gone. I just, you know, cough is lingering for whatever reason. Um, also want to rebuild these. I think there was a wall here, actually. But I'm just going to leave that open. <laughs> Thank you. And again, I think I'm pretty much over it. It's just the cough is lingering. I feel fine. Oh, Gumpy. Appreciate it, though. Oh, yeah, we got a new TV. Well, we already have one. Then it's actually turned off. Um... Where are we at with this? Oh, right. 
you actually have to click start project after you buy it. Right. Oh yeah, Pep. Um, I guess you can go. <laughs> Don't really have any need for you. And you're not part of a faction, so... Did we get all these destroyed? Yeah, everything down here is ready to be hauled. They're just not hauling stuff for some reason. Let's bump that up just so we can get the stuff in there. Like, what are you doing? Oh, I know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, except... Wait, what? No, I don't know what you're doing. You're just wandering? Is that something you do? I thought it was this one, and he was still restricted to that space, but apparently not. Okay, yeah. Now he should be good to go. Imagine a bot room just filled with bots. Yeah, I do love bots. They're nice. Especially this crafter bot. Which actually, has it been doing anything? Can we repair this, actually? It's a little bit damaged. Ame appreciating art. Yep, yep. Yeah, the reason I was checking on this is because we're getting low on power again. Despite having four of the... Oh, you know what? It's because of this. That's why we were running low. And down here, too. Glad I noticed that one. Yeah, we got our power lines cut. Which is why I have this set up like this have lots of redundancies just in case okay so is that repaired yeah okay got power coming in now so we are not as desperate for power as I thought oh, let's turn this on to get rid of those clothes how much steel <laughs> wow and that one's full too so almost 6,000 steel nice Going nuclear? Eventually, yes. Hopefully. That is the power goal. Got a rim atomics reactor going. Those can be crazy good. Um, there was something else I was going to check just now. Oh, food. Excellent. Food is still going up. Because we had about 8,000 before. Now we're up to 9,000. We are making our way through... Actually, no, we haven't even touched the anchovies for a while. Nice. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Mokoko proposed the marriage to Ame, and Ame rejected her. Oof. I mean, that was a little bit fast, Mokoko. I mean, that was what? Like, two, three days ago? You're moving really fast. <laughs> so are they still together or yeah okay huh i wonder why i mean they're both at 100 percent so rat didn't approve no 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 ame it was ame who didn't approve bay is with uh Fuawa. and they're doing pretty well it looks like but i wouldn't be surprised if Something happened with them as well soon. Ooh. Glitter World Trader. Okay. We should have tons to sell. Yeah, I thought it was Bay for a second. It's understandable. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, speaking of boom rats. Oh my goodness. Nice. Um, I might keep two. Just for the nitroglycerin. <laughs> you were actually open for the two sisters getting together. Um, were they are actually sisters in this? 
Like I set it up that way, so I don't even know if that's possible. <laughs> Potentially. I don't like I don't don't think I've ever had that happen before. Um, what all do we have? Should I get glitter wound medicine? Those boom rats are not worth very much, but I'm just happy to get rid of them. <laughs> not the sisterly love. Yeah. Oh, they have Lazarus mech injectors. Mm-hmm. Fibrous mech injectors? What do these do? Increased manipulation and movement speed. But makes them more tired and causes pain. That doesn't sound good. Oh yeah, I still have these reinforced barrels for mortars. Neuromuscular framework. That sounds awesome. Perfectly recreating the function of a healthy torso. How how do you even install that? <laughs> or would install be the right word? Hmm. Oh, it's possible. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, that's good to know. Is it possible just in the base game, or do you have to have special traits in a mod for it? That's the question. Uh, let's get rid of the elephant tusk. We have a bio-coated charge pistol, which I don't think I can use. <laughs> it's worth one cent, but whatever. Ooh, get a good cleaner. I don't really think I need it, though. Do they have advanced components and stuff? Yeah, they do. Okay. Just buy all those. And do they buy titanium? They should. Yes, they do. Okay. I think that's all I want. I mean, this sounds cool, but... Mm. Exoskeleton suit. Hmm. Again, could be cool. You actually have to do surgery. Success rate 100%. Is that normal? I mean, it doesn't sound like it's a invasive procedure. It just sounds like an external suit thing. I don't know. That could be cool. Can you craft them? Bionics workbench. Yes, I can make them. I have to research stuff, but I could eventually make them. I could get another pain gun. I could get a builder, too. Nah. Well, you know what? Let's get a telescope just for fun. Okay. Oh, where did it go? Gumpy. Where did you... He... Surgery failed. Oops. Omnibot, why were you doing surgery? I mean, I get you're an Omnibot, but your doctoring skill should be, like, one. Um, let's put it over here. I guess I really didn't need to sterilize them. Since we got rid of all the females. But, you know... Just in case another group decides to join us, we'll at least have a couple that are already sterilized. <laughs> yeah, I kept a couple of them because they do give nutroglycerin. We got quite a lot, actually, which can be refined into neutramine <clears throat> or into chem fuel. So that's pretty cool. Inspired taming. Ame has experienced an inspiration. Okay. It's good to know. How's this going? Looks like it's almost done. Uh, you gotta go? Alright. Well, thank you for stopping by. It's been fun having you here. Of course, I appreciate it. And I hope you have a good day. Let me turn this back on. Oh, yeah, 3 a.m. I just noticed that. <laughs> yeah, go to bed. Jeez. <laughs> I really shouldn't be one to talk. I do that all the time, so. 
Oh, are they? Wait, why aren't they building this? Good night. <laughs> okay, they are. They're probably not building because we don't have any slate. Um. So, is this slate? Oh, that's granite. We're starting to run out of chunks out here, actually. Still haven't gotten this figured out. Um, can we try dropping it again? Okay, so drop it. I'm gonna be naked for a while. <laughs> Manager coon in the war casket. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> Okay, somebody doing something with it? Or are they just moving it? I think they're just moving it. Uh, still not able to repair. Hmm. Well, let's try opening it up for the other ones to see if it's just from the mod. Yeah, so they're immediately repairing stuff. They just can't do it with stuff from the Hololive mod. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, no, I can actually change colors and stuff. That's cool. If I do this... And just have it... Wait, I don't want legendary, though. Masterwork. See, it says in here deterioration rate zero. So it shouldn't deteriorate? I don't know. Okay, if I do that, does that reset? Yes, it does. Okay. But she still has the tattered apparel. It's because I'm... Yes, okay. Because I wasn't... I was paused, so... Okay. So we're just going to have to do that every time they get tired of apparel. I was planning on actually repairing it with this mod, but... It doesn't work. Um, let's also suspend. I, well, don't want to be wasting cloth and just repairing random pants and stuff. Although it might be good to repair this, because that's pretty good. Can I actually... Okay, do mop stuff. And what other, what other armor? I feel like armor in general I could probably repair. Yeah, let's do that. Still doing good on food. Of course, it is summer, so we are having this right now working. Real test will be in winter when only this is functional. Uh, major break risk? Gumpy? Uh, why? Oh my god, what happened to Wiggles? Oh wait, Wiggles was in the raid? Ooh, yeah. Uh, sorry, Gumpy. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> and we probably already dissected his body. So. <laughs> uh, rip Wiggles. Sorry about that. <laughs> kind of understandable why you want to have a mental break. Uh, normal research. I can get armor going. However... Our hollow mems aren't gonna wait a moment. Wait a moment. Fauna, what are you wearing? <laughs> Where is your Where uh... <laughs> Yeah, not the protagonist family. He's gonna enter his villain villain arc now. Okay, there it is. Um, hmm. <laughs> Fauna, that's not allowed. I'm sorry. 
Uh, can I can put it on and then I will replace it. Can I just... Yeah, I can just do that. That works, right? Yeah. Okay. That's a little bit easier. Okay, anybody else drop their outfit? I'm guessing other people, their outfits are close. I mean, 60... Why is this legendary? Yeah, whatever. Food binge, Gumpy? That's, that's fine. Go for it. You deserve it. Okay, Mume's at 52. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Bay, what about you? 52 as well. And I was really hoping not to use the character editor, like, at all. And there have been a few times where it's been necessary, but I really didn't want to have to use it for that. I wanted to actually have some kind of in-game mechanic to use to repair stuff. How's this going? Almost done? Yeah, gathering weapons data for the HEL is kind of a pain. Because you actually have to launch mortar shells for it to shoot down. I think it's only five though, so that's not too bad. I'm probably going to put it right here. Oop, step completed. Okay. Um, HL. Let's actually get rid of that. Blue Bob, can you sleep in these? I don't think you can. Let's give Blue Bob a sleeping spot. There. Oh, oh. Right. Put it right there. That should be... I guess it's not... Oh, there it is. Yeah, that color is pretty much the entire base, I think. Maybe not so much down here, but it should be fine. Yeah, I'm the live right next to the artillery cannons. That's fine. We don't use it very often. I mean, they also have, like, this wind turbine, this, this radar thing two geothermal generators. Those are probably more annoying than the artillery. <laughs> Space crash, or spaceship crash. Uh, how far is it? Oh wow, it's really close, actually. Um, hmm. I don't know. Can it show up in quests? No. Again, it's always risky, and I hate taking risks. Visitors, pickles, and diver. Okay. Food binge. Still, or is that the same one? No, no, no it's no longer. Okay. Okay, so we got this built. Now we need Ame. You get on that. Bay, come get on the sacks and target all shells. Oh, maybe this is why the drop pods were on the side of the map. Because we're scrambling. I didn't see any messages about that. But... Um, t -t 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 hold fire. It's where do we want our target to be? Is Bay ready to go? Yep, yep. I need it to be somewhere in range of this, so maybe, like, up here? Let's take out this emu. Yeah, like, right... here, yeah. Right there. Okay, and this should work. Maybe. There it goes. Oh man, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, so we just need... I think it's only five? Uh, 
Okay, it didn't go up that time. Or that time. Does it have to be normal mortar shells? It might be. Do this one and then... Okay. Doesn't look like that's working. Uh, extract shell. So we need a normal mortar. And Bay, you can go do whatever. The final already. Oh, <laughs> right. We still have these closed off. Confusion Mokoko. Yep, that's fine. That happens. Still need to look into if there's any way for me to, re like, heal her dementia. As far as I can tell, there isn't. We tried using healer mechanites on her, and that didn't work. And if that didn't work, I don't know what else. <laughs> Bay's just a dude. Yeah, that's her background. She's a dreaded dude. I figured, is it the agent of chaos that would work? There's even a religion about them, somewhere involving noodles and meatballs. I felt like that fit. <laughs> the idea of chaos, so... But I do like how it just says... Oh, uh, where does it say it? Yeah, Bay Dude. <laughs> yeah, it really fits. And also her childhood. Desert Rat. I mean, come on. <laughs> Is our crafter bot really doing much these days? I feel like we have plenty of components and advanced components that we're not really using, so... Oh, did we get the mortar built? Yeah, we did. Cool. Alright. Bay, shooting a few bullets? Actually, how about you go to the mortar, then? And Ame, you come over here. This <laughs> small desert rat is a cute image. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Speaking of cute rat, did you guys watch her live 3D yesterday? It's pretty awesome. And releasing a whole album? That's insane. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Maybe like an, one new original song or something like that, but a whole album? Crazy rat. Crazy. Oh, okay. That was fast. I guess that speed turned up. That count? Uh, that didn't count either. You missed it? Yep. Yeah, she got a, a message from, like, her favorite voice actor, I believe. I'm not familiar with them, so. When she was pretty excited about that. It's pretty awesome. Why isn't this going up? Test fire the HEL on artillery targets to gather weapons data. You can use the weapons console to change its target acquisition to include friendly shells. Does it have to be just friendly, or...? I don't know why it isn't counting. Hmm. I've done this before, so... Maybe it has to reach 50 when it won't show up until that's done. Bay found no unreserved shells for steel mortar. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Ame, you can go away. Does it have to be manned in order for that to work? I don't think it does, but for the testing, it might. Oh, hey, we got a... <laughs> Yeah, we managed to actually kill the ostrich and emu. Nice. Free meat. Nice shot, Ame. Or Bay. That was Bay that time, wasn't it? But yeah, I haven't listened to the album yet. I'm excited, though. I do like Bay's music, so... Are we... I don't think we are researching anything. Yeah. 
I need to stay on top of that. <laughs> should we start working towards a ship, actually? You know what? We should. This has to end at some point, right? So I'm getting a ship with 16 cryo caskets to take all the hollow mems that we have. We might not get all 16. In fact, it's very unlikely that we will get all 16 members. That would be amazing if we did. I mean, we haven't even seen a good chunk of them. We've seen Bibu. Bibu's the only one that we know of that isn't here. Yeah, probably gonna listen to it later tonight. I have a drawing up and working on. Can I do the spaceship? Um, I can't. Yeah, I don't want the category open. I'm gonna build a ship here instead of going to one. So I think I need to research all of this. And as far as materials, I think. I have everything I need. I can make AI cores, actually. Which is usually the big step, big thing that you need to make the ship, I believe. And that's why when the AI contacts you about a ship on the other side, that's why it's an AI, because it's AI for the ship, and it's already in there. Oh yeah, where... where was this going? <laughs> it's going really well, apparently. <laughs> not you guys. Yeah, also doing pretty well. Not as well, but... Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, speed up a little bit. Did this... No. Do I actually have to target something? With the mortar. I'm also low on... Oh, low on chem fuel. And that's why we're not making shells. Um, I had this set to use rice. I don't want it to use rice. And it should be using insect meat. Yes. And let's also make chem fuel... Prioritize using nitroglycerin. Yeah, four times loving and five times loving from Vua. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a vanilla thing. I'm gonna get in love. Pretty sure. I don't know. <laughs> it's been so long since I played without mods. Again, keep saying that, so <laughs> I don't know what vanilla is really like these days. No, I know, like, having kids and stuff, I'm pretty sure that has to be a mod. I'm pretty sure there are mods for that. But it gets complicated. And a bit technically difficult and buggy and stuff, so I haven't really touched those much. Yeah. <laughs> mods are pretty much default for me these days. Stuff like RimWorld, Skyrim, Fallout. Anything that has a pretty big modding community with a lot of cool content, I usually can only play with mods these days. Okay, making shells. Yep. I am going to... How much slate do we have? We have a ton of limestone. Why do we have so much limestone? I guess we're getting it out of here. Let's make a little granite bunker here that can actually be a target. Skyrim scares you to mod? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff, and I do spend probably more time modding Skyrim than I do playing it a lot of the time. I have one, I have a mod list right now that works pretty well that I use consistently. The main mod I focus stuff around is Legacy of the Dragonborn. I absolutely love that mod. It's the one where there's a museum that has all the unique items you can put on display when you find them. And I, I just love collecting stuff in games, so that's, that's right up my alley. So any mod that complements that one, I've also installed. If you're really interested in mod packs and stuff, there's a tool called Wabajack. 
where it you literally just click a button and it'll go out and download and install a whole list of mods in the mod pack for you right then and there like without you having to do anything and it's optimized for compatibility people have tested it and bug tested them and everything so yeah skyrim the collecting game yep yeah the, the default vanilla houses really don't have good displays and stuff at least compared to the museum but yeah wabajack i've used it once most of the mod packs are oriented towards graphics which i actually don't care about a whole lot I feel like as long as the game is fun to play, I don't really care how it looks. And actually, graphics mods can cause it to be less fun because the performance goes down and loading takes longer and stuff. So yeah, I try to stay away from those as much as possible. There are a few that I have, but yeah. Oh man, you're making me want to play Skyrim again. Stop it. <laughs> Oh! Oh, Fuawan Bay! Alright! Fuawa will change your last name to Bales. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Skyrim is one of those games that I can always go back to and play. Alright, we have our first wedding coming up. I'm excited. <laughs> Fuawa Bales. <laughs> nice. Oh, marriage spot? I actually don't know. Is there? There is. I think that is vanilla. Probably should put that down. Although I kind of want to see where they do it. Marriage by whom? Fuawa and Bay are getting married. <laughs> you missed something? Yeah, it was a bit of a fast relationship. <laughs> and if you also missed it, Mokoko and Ame are in a relationship. And I think Mokoko proposed to Ame, but Ame said no. <laughs> <laughs> rip iris yeah that's a good point <laughs> she's gonna go to her ex's wedding that might be a little awkward but yeah for the marriage spot i'm just gonna let them choose it's more fun that way right just to see what kind of ridiculous setting they get married in um coming days or quadrums okay Uh, should we try this again? Actually, don't man it. I want to see what happens if I don't. Um, just wait until she's on it. <laughs> as long as it's not on the minefield. Yeah, they shouldn't. <laughs> uh, first target. Target that. Maybe it's not actually getting hit. Like the shell is blowing up. It hits the ground before this is able to destroy it. Let's do it in slow motion. Or... I mean, that definitely looked like it hit it. But I don't know. Um... Let's have it go further out, I suppose. Actually, let's make it go somewhere crazy. Come way over here. That'll also give it more time to actually hit it. Because it'll be in range longer. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. That absolutely got it that time. Okay, and that did count. Okay. That's exactly what was happening, is that it was... Too short of a distance, and it was exploding before the HEL could get it. Cool. And I just need five kills with it, or quote-unquote kills. Yep. Mystery solved, yeah. Problem solving. Love doing that in games. Okay, that's two. That's three. I guess if I had seen this... Oh... Fault in electrical conduit caused a shortage. Um, is that out here? Oof, yeah. <laughs> what is with these cables always bursting in the flame? Okay, let's make this the home area. 
And you know what? I forgot to remove that. Does this have enough power to... It does not. Okay. I um, mean, you can stop for now. A little bit of lag there. Alright. Got that taken care of. Isn't there also an option? Yeah, automatic rebuild of destroyed structures and home area. Yeah, I'm going to enable that, actually. It's good to have. So that if this ever does get destroyed, they'll go back and rebuild it. If I finished Ancient Danger, yes, I have. I completed that near the end last time. It took way longer than it should have, and I way over-prepared. You can kind of see our setup here. I had two EMP cannons, actually, right here. EMP IEDs, turrets. Um, had an obelisk turret, which is from Room Atomics, which is crazy cool. Yeah, you missed it, sorry. Go back and watch it. I mean, there's a VOD and everything. I think it's it's pretty close to the end. And it was only like five, ten minute event, so I can go watch it if you want. Also opened up the caskets this stream, actually. And that was pretty uneventful, unfortunately. No hollow mems. We had two hostile dudes with a pump shotgun and a chain shotgun. But we took them down pretty quickly, so... Nail's cousin and crony's mother named BB. Okay. How are we doing on power? Okay, we're still good. Ducks? No, actually, that's that's fine. You already have ducks. Wow, okay. Um, however. Sorry, males. Is that all of them? I think so. Can get rid of the males. <laughs> That is a lot of ducks. Get some duck meat. Are there two different kinds of ducks? Because these are two different graphics. And I thought at first... Oh, no, okay. It is male and female. It's just these ones are swapped in this one down here. Okay. Um, anybody going to take care of this? Also, this broom mat still isn't sterilized. I guess this is the one they failed with. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the ducks. <laughs> Bringing the ducks in. And they're, they're already doing it. Just immediately going at it. Oh, Fauna's using a telescope in the middle of the day. That is, doesn't seem like a good idea. Um, do we have enough power for... I think we do. Yeah, that should be plenty, right? A lot is an understatement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the duck noises. Okay, is Bay firing? Or is she waiting on a target? They may have actually destroyed the target. Yeah, they did. That's why. Okay. Oh, another marriage. Mokuko and Ame. There we go. Ame, Ame will change her name to Abyss Guard. Okay. <laughs> so, it's Fuwama changing her name for the other two. And it's Ame changing her name here. Interesting. Okay, congrats, Mokuko. You did it this time. She accepted. <laughs> so we got two weddings coming up. Exciting. Okay, that's five. So, clear work, and it should yell at me here in a moment. Any moment. There it is. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and start doing reactors. There's quite a few things you have to do to get reactors. No, I, I haven't been checking guests, like, at all. I haven't missed anybody, have I? <laughs> Is there anything else down here that I need to... I mean, I still have this one turret. Did I ever replace the... No, I didn't. I didn't replace this turret. There we go. Perfect. I should also properly build a wall. Steel armored wall. Uh, 
build a wall around this just in case. What kind of door am I using? Steel armor door. Nice. Because I don't think raiders will be smart enough to come and destroy these to like disable my turrets or whatever, but they might. It's a possibility. Might as well prepare for it. Okay, this shouldn't take too long. And then I need to make a research reactor, which I should be able to fit right here. Yeah, it's about the same size as this. A little bit smaller, actually. Looks like it's 4x4. Four four. Oh, yeah. Gumpy. I keep seeing that you have Tower of the Peril, but I disregard it because he's not Hollow Man, and so it shouldn't matter. But I should steal... Still, like, build something for him, right? Uh, let's get him a helmet. Simple helmet? Yeah, sure. Oh. Wow. That crafting robot was on it immediately. <laughs> okay. Um, can I build it from here? Yes, I can. Oh, it's too far. How about... Yeah, right there. It'll be a little bit tight here, but it's no big deal. Gumpy, did you not get your helmet? Did somebody steal it? Who stole it? Beatrice? What are you doing? I might as well make two more, because I have a feeling Katsumi is going to steal one, too. And nails. Or one of them, at least. So maybe I should make three. Yeah. Really, I should be making something better than simple helmets, but... <laughs> I should put some lights in here. Goodness. Lights are something that I really haven't paid attention to at all. <laughs> I know that they can drain your batteries if you're not paying attention, so... Well, let's get some lights along this hallway, which I'm going to have to make a power cable down. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I, I saw those hearts. I saw what you were doing. Jeez. <laughs> Six times? How long does this last? It expires... It finishes expiring in about three days, so... It's like five times in three days, and six times in probably three days, too. Okay, so it looks like it's... yeah, <laughs> again. Uh. Oh, do I not have a power cable going through here? Oh, whoops. Gift? Alpha Poly? Excellent. You know what, speaking of Alpha Poly... Um, this drill is doing nothing. So, let's start digging this up. Okay, yep. Probably we'll have to extend this up a little bit. And is this one done too? No, oh, this one's done too. Uh, this is getting titanium, I believe. Um, what should we switch it to? I will be needing uranium soon, probably. So let's go ahead and get that going. I'm not going to do the one inside the storage room, though, because I don't want infestation happening. Step complete. Okay, research and train is the next step. Cargo pots. Uh, just some shirts. Nothing too special. Actually, I'm meaning to check. Does this say accuracy here? Miss radius of 9, direct hit chance 0.4%. Is this better? Direct hit chance 0.08%, miss radius of 20. So no. A normal mortar is way better in terms of accuracy. In terms of everything, in fact. 
range is the same. And I guess it has durability, but... Wow. I should have been using the mortar launcher this whole time. Well, at least now I know. <laughs> Ooh, spacecraft chunks. Nice. Uh, where is that? Over here? Oh. Just one? Come on. Alright, got nails on this one. And... I'm assuming somebody's gonna come work on this one. Katsumi? Yeah, Katsumi's on it. Cool. Now, it's weird that Katsumi can hold weapons, but then Nails can't. They're both pacifists and are both incapable of violence, but Nails specifically cannot wield weapons. So, I don't know. What all is in here? Oh yeah, we got frag grenades. Should make a chain shotgun. Pain stick. Uh, chain shotgun. There we go. Mume doing her late night nuclear reactor training. Oh, we are losing power now. <laughs> hey, what's up? Thick high inspector. Thick thick thighs inspector. Ah. <laughs> Took me a moment to figure out your name there. Hey, my day's going great. I hope yours is too. Nice name. <laughs> Research reactor. Okay, that's all done. Uh, next is nuclear power, which unlocks a ton of stuff. Oh, well, thank you, Thick Thighs Inspector. <laughs> My day is going pretty well. What am I researching again? Starflight Basics, okay. What else do I need to be focusing on? And this does cover pretty much our entire base. I mean, they could still land in here with drop pods or use mortars here, but... Oh, you love my base? Thank you. I feel like it's kind of a mess, but... <laughs> I mean, it works, right? <laughs> as long as it works. Oh, you know what? Speaking of which, something I've been meaning to do for, like the past two streams is to extend our dining hall. Now, it will shrink our fields a little bit, but that's not a huge deal. Um, what kind of floor is this? Slate? Because, I mean, we have six chairs for, what, 13 people? 12 people. So it seems a little bit small, and they have been complaining about not eating with tables, which is why I put tables in their room. Ooh, thrombos. Yeah. Okay. Hook Ross. Counselor. Okay. Can I trade with him? By any chance? Oh, I can. I doubt he'll have anything. Okay, he's got beer and synthetic tissue. And that's it. <laughs> and only 40 gold, or silver, rather. Um, how about you take these cloth pants? Force you to buy these cloth pants. Yeah, they probably do need chairs. It's something I keep looking at and forgetting. And just another thing that I get distracted from doing. So let's do that now. Um, dining chair? Wait, do we have any fancy ergonomic chairs? Ergonomic bed. Advanced chair. Ergonomic chair. Takes a component in plasteel. <laughs> sure. We're pretty rich. You can do that. Is this a table? I think so. Just give everybody 
Except in there, because nobody's sleeping in there currently. Who's having a major break risk? Gumpy? Of course it's Gumpy. I feel like Gumpy is the only person to get close to break risk. <laughs> what crime did Mume commit to be exiled to sleeping in the oven? No, no, no. She likes it. It's it's decoration. It's Mume decoration. <laughs> it really is just decoration. Though. It doesn't actually affect the temperature in here. I also gave her some knives. I felt like that was appropriate. Found us got a tree and some flowers. I didn't really put anything else. Yeah, I've got this props menu, which I think is from a mod. So yeah, I just found this and just had some fun with it, so... <laughs> it's not an oven, I swear. She's fine. So is Animal. <laughs> Step completed. Oh, wait a moment. Uh, mad dromedary? No. <laughs> I didn't even notice and didn't even matter. <laughs> what a culture name. Yeah, I know, isn't it? I think Thighs Inspector. That's a great name. Oh, that's right. These have risk. High risk. That's always a bit scary. Uh, Crony, what are you doing? You're probably building stuff, but you're our best trader, I believe. Okay, Glitter World Trader. Excellent. Buy more of those. Always. More of those. Awesome. Uh, don't need Nutramine. I definitely don't need wargs or cougars. Still have these damaged scyther blades. I, I keep meaning to see if I can repair them. To make prosthetics with. Um, Plasteel? How am I doing on Plasteel? Well, this says I have zero in the trading area. Which isn't good. Let's go ahead and buy all that. Some cool weapons. Ooh, bullet storm. I'm yep, buying a bullet storm. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Kitchen three might be nice, but I'd much rather just get a. If it's not a five, I'm not even really thinking about buying it. So I think that's all there. Go ahead and. Um, uh, all of my titanium. Ooh, yeah. Uh, maybe I don't want that one. It's not really that much. Well, advanced. Okay, yeah, those are pretty expensive, but I don't really need them. So let's go with that. I think I am in a plasteel, though. So it's a good thing I bought some, since I just spent a whole bunch building chairs. Yeah. <laughs> um, we need another... Mine for plasteel. Titanium. That's steel. Oh! This one right here. Did we have three drills? I don't remember having three. So we are mining plasteel. I just forgot about it. Whoops. Power is starting to look iffy, so I'm going to turn this off. Apparel? Um, a muffalo hat and some kind of parka. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be our solution to power, I think. Because where, where, I guess, I put a whole bunch of lights in, that's where most of the power, the new power is coming from. 1 a.m. now? Yes, please, go to bed. <laughs> Good night. Thanks for hanging out. It's been fun. 1 a.m. It's so strange to see a normal Rimworld map. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's modded somewhat. It just doesn't have a whole lot of map stuff adjusted. Keep your thighs under the... <laughs> wow, that's a interesting threat, I suppose. <laughs> if 
Fugitive Outpost. Eh, it's not worth it. Earthquake. I don't see that very often. It looks like it's right here. Did a little bit of damage, but it's not bad. I should check my home area, actually. Cause have I built anything since then? And remove this. I did put on rebuild stuff in the home area, but I don't want them coming out here to clean just because. Smoke leaf binge. That's perfectly fine. There are way worse things you could be doing. Oh, this got damaged. So do their batteries and stuff. Okay. Earthquake did a little bit, but not a big deal. I'm going to guess we went through all that plastic already. Oh, we also have... Right. And I'm going to get rid of these. What am I using this for? Drugs? Beer? I guess just to keep beer out of the animal's hands, I put them there. Put that in the corner. Gift from Orion installation. Radiation suit. Okay, that might come in handy, actually. Because you never know with radiation. Okay, I'm also going to actually just completely get rid of this table. And is there an ergonomic table? That doesn't make sense to me, but... I'm going to the end table. Like that table. Interactive table? Table for eating off of with interactive display for watching shows, playing games, or taking notes. Okay. Yes, let's do that. Um... Let's make it out of steel. Is it? Okay, it's just the 2x2, two two, unfortunately. Is there any way to make it bigger? No. Or should I go for a royal table? Ooh, Starflight Basics, nice. I'm kind of thinking royal table. Yeah. Might be worth it to build a picnic table outside for the farmers and fieldies. That is a good idea. That's actually something I've never done before. Now, should I just do a normal table? Oh, great. Defoliator ship. Lovely. It's always right up here. Okay, we got a Lancer. It's not great. And a Pikeman. What is the range on a Charge Lance? 30? Okay, that's not bad at all. Okay, that should be pretty easy to take care of, I think. Especially if they do get in here, we have our EMP cannon. So that should take care of them pretty easily. As long as I can hit them with a mortar. Okay, pick table. Um, mm hmm. No, I don't want that big. Let's put it... Oh, it's going to be uneven if I put it there. Right uh, here. Where's your horde of rats for these scenarios? <laughs> uh, we did have a whole bunch of boom rats, but I got rid of them because they were multiplying too quickly and weren't really that useful. Also, last time we had... Or the time before, we had a psychic ship down here. We actually did get a rabbit manhunter pack come through and it took care of three of them. So, horde of animals is actually a good strategy. <laughs> but I don't want to have to feed them. I mean, I have a lot of food. Wow, I have a lot of food. But both, or every winter, we've been pretty close on food. So, I'd rather not risk it. Can I not rotate this? I can't rotate that. Okay. Are there normal benches? Uh, and just give them stools. Oops. Pretty sure we'll be fine on food this year. Because we have 
We didn't have this last time, and hydroponics is pretty awesome. I could also continue expanding it, actually, if I wanted to. Do we still have... Yeah, we still have a ton of anchovies. In fact, I don't think we've touched them at all, which is surprising. Also, last time, I started making... Oh, I still have these suspended. A lavish vegetarian meal, which I didn't know you can make them purely vegetarian. I thought you had to have vegetable and protein in order to make lavish and fine. But we have lots of vegetables, so... Um, how are we doing on power? Still not great. Um, well, this is doing absolutely nothing. Um, we're not making chem fuel right now. That takes a lot of power. Oh, this takes a lot of power. Okay, that should at least start bringing in some juice. <laughs> Anchovy aristocrat. Yes, that is my title. I will hold on to it. Wait a minute. What? Why? Oh, uh, just probably don't have storage for it. Well, there goes a whole bunch of dromedary meat. Whatever. Do I have any other meat in here that I should be aware of? We have rice in here. But I mean, rice keeps a pretty long time. Yeah, 39 days. It'll probably turn to winter. Oh, yeah, because I think each season is 15 days, so in 39 days, it should be winter, so it'll freeze anyway. Maybe get another barrel in here, actually. Take up the one final slot there. What am I storing? Ah, uh, a lot of stuff? I have... An absolutely insane amount of rice. We have a little bit of insect meat here, which I was using for chem fuel. And actually, let's just do forever. This will only use insect meat, so that'll just get rid of that. Um, what else is in here? Got a bunch of beets. And we got berries. And there should be potatoes? Oh, we also have eggs from our horde of ducks. Where are the potatoes? Do we not have potatoes anymore? Oh, you know what? I turned off sowing for this field. So this whole time we just haven't been growing potatoes. I keep looking at this field and being like, oh, it's empty. They must have just harvested. But nope, they just haven't been planting stuff this whole time. So yeah, I think we're definitely good on food for the winter since I was able to completely ignore a whole field and still make tons of food. Confusion animal. Oh, poor animal. Yeah, our pets are getting older. What's snail doing? Still have a bad back. Can I use healer mechanites on animals? <laughs> and just like give them immortality? I should make a whole room for snail and animal. Give them just a amazingly luxurious pet room. Oh, right. Um, can I make these out of... No, that's just the cloth. I have to use plasteel for them. Should I make royal chairs? <laughs> Where, how do they get a snail? Alright, let me explain how I set this up. Uh, well, first of all, Hall Life mod, so these are outfits. And then there's a mod called the Character Editor. Which actually you can go in beforehand and create custom characters. And part of that is you can go in and create colony animals as well. So I made animal and snail, whatever snail is. There's snail. Now unfortunately, I don't think there's any other sprite for cats. So I can't make snail a black cat. But at least I was able to put snail in here. But yeah, that's also how I got... Like, their custom backstories, their stats are kind of personalized, and their traits. Um, what else? Their social stuff. I made Iris Bay's ex-lover and everything. Mokuko and Fuala are actually sisters. So, got all that done. Oh, you thought it was a real snail. <laughs> yeah, that's an understandable thing to think. <laughs> 
always wanted an aqua farm. Yeah, there, there are mods that have like aquaponics, like they call it. There's like a fish farm pool. I've played with that before. I don't remember what mod that was. I think it was one of the like factory mods. I do have fishing in this one from the fishing mod, but unfortunately I don't have any water, so <laughs> can't really make use of that. That's why I, I bought these anchovies from a trade ship. That's why I have a ton of them. Do we need to do anything here? Oh, I need to build a reactor core. Yeah, should pay attention to that. Can only make A. Um, I guess, yeah. Oh, except, no. Don't want it there. Because I have to make a, like a turbine and a transformer and everything. That's where that, where that will go. What's the next step? Okay, so build this and then research. Sure, safety. Yeah, and those mechanoids aren't going to bother you. Don't worry about it. Turbine generator. Connect the reactor to the turbine. Cooling system. Yeah, the cooling system might be an issue. Can I build that right now? No. It's going to unlock. So I'm going to have to go for cooling towers, which are massive. Um, usually I go for some form of water cooling, but again, no water. So I'm going to have to put cooling towers out here. Probably two of them, at least. Oh, this actually needs power, though. Alright. I still have zero clue how to use this mod. Yeah, it's pretty complicated. To get started, you have to research it. Here. Threat detection. Tax has detected a possible threat. It is estimated unknown force will attack via land in approximately 11 hours. Okay. From down here? Hmm. Yeah, first you have to research that, and then you actually have to make a research bench for room atomics. At which point you get this little tab, and these are all the researches you can look at there's a ton of stuff but then the nuclear power is a whole complicated thing it kind of walks you through it a little bit like right now i'm making the reactor itself and then i have to make a turbine fonzie fonzie the yak hmm. sorry fonzie but <laughs> i can't really afford to take care of you at this point Yeah, I, I like room atomics though. There's a lot of cool stuff in it. Like we have this obelisk turret, which is crazy cool. It's a huge laser that blasts stuff. And this HEL, which will actually shoot down mortar shells that are launched. I mean, I should switch that to only enemy shells. I think it also shoots down drop pods. I'm not entirely sure. There's also something called the uh, uh, Liberator? Yeah, Liberator, which is it's literally just a nuclear missile that you can use to wipe out entire like cities and stuff it's pretty cool but it's also crazy expensive and hard to make <laughs> and the reactors are really good at generating power too like this is a type a there's also a type b and a type c that are bigger and can generate tons of power. Oh, mech hive. Oof. Okay, what do we got? Scythers, no big deal. Ooh, what is this? A termite with a thump cannon? Okay, what's the range on this? Only 25. Okay. Building damage factor, 1,500%. What? <laughs> Only does 9 damage, though. Looks like it just does damage to buildings. Yeah, it's a breaching explosive launcher. Concussion bother is extremely effective against walls and structures, but does less damage to small targets. Okay. I am not too worried. As long as people get inside. It looks like everybody's asleep right now, except for Mume, who's working on stuff. Uh, can I recall my robots? They're attacking immediately, right? Yes. Come get some. Yeah, the Scyther should be no problem whatsoever. Um, it does look like... Oh, they're breaching. Mm -mm -mm. Right. 
Yeah, this could actually be bad. This is the first time we've had to deal with something breaching. A wall. Okay, babe, I don't want you going out there. Beatrice and no, not you, Gumpy. You guys come out here. Oh, we bought another, bought another bullet storm, didn't we? Actually, Ame, you could be really good here, because I mean, for one thing, you have EMP grenades. Um, who do we want to give? Let's give it to. Oh no. Well, hmm. Neither of you guys fight, so. Where is it? I'm not seeing it there. Is it in this one? Bullet storm, there it is. Okay. Now, should I set people up in here? You know what? I probably should. <laughs> Will a frilly maid dress stop the death laser? Maybe. <laughs> Their outfits are actually really good armor, surprisingly. No, I actually want you guys coming in here. Ame too. With your triple rocket launcher. Bay, continue outside and snipe them, I suppose. And you can run inside if you need to. Need to keep an eye on her though. Crony, get that bullet storm. Alright, fire. Well, let me keep this open. Because I'd much rather they just come right into the base. And that will at least get airflow going in case that does happen. I don't know if this will start fires either because it's just concussive. And these guys only have melee attacks. Now the pikemen. Maybe. Mame, you go to the back. You guys up front. Alright, alright. Okay, he's making his way in. Oh, crony. Yes. Oh, man, the bullet storm. Oh. Ame, you're not in range for that, are you? Okay. Um, how much are you injured? Ooh, okay, you actually are bleeding. You're okay. You're okay. Ame um, didn't even get touched. Hydroponics can catch fire. Yeah. Bay, where are you at? Okay. She's almost there. I mean, if we can take care of the pikemen, everything else should be really easy. Uh, Ame, can you shoot? I just want to see the rocket launcher. I don't know if I've ever used it. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, that may that may have been a mistake. <laughs> okay. Mocha go oh you're wandering, actually. Voila, can you come in here? Wait, what? I completely missed it. <laughs> Beatrice has been shot to death. It finally happened. I finally lost the colonist. Not intentionally. Well, at least it was Beatrice. What what killed her? Was it was it Ame? Gunshot Oh, really? The pikeman got a shot off right to her torso and managed to kill her. Wow, that is just unlucky. Okay, well, at least it wasn't one of our precious hollow mems. Okay, yep, easy. Oh, even Mume's getting in on the action. Okay. Alright, you are in desperate need. Crony, you just have a bruise, but nobody else got injured. But we did lose Beatrice, who actually has been the normal, the longest person that was a normal colonist to be with us this whole time. Um, so we will give her a proper burial, just to make sure, yeah, okay, not allowing colonist corpses for that. Let's give her a sarcophagus, 
Um, let's make that granite. Now, where do we put it is the question. How about we start a little graveyard back here? I mean, we do have this grave in here. This is for a colonist that we kind of didn't want. <laughs> so I kind of let him die. But I did bury him. But I don't really consider him one of our colonists. Okay. Well, that could have gone way worse. Bay, how are you doing? How about you? Yeah. <laughs> That's grim. <laughs> yeah. This game can get pretty grim sometimes. My reasoning for it is that we only have 18 slots for people, right? And we already used up four, or at the time we used up four. So that means a total of 14 slots that we can use for hollow mems, but we need 16 slots for all of them. So potentially it would be choosing between this normal dude or a hollow mem, which of course I'm gonna choose the hollow mem. But if we have 18 people, they're not gonna the game isn't going to give me any chance to get more people, I don't think. Or it'll be very rare if it does. So I decided I should just get rid of him, basically. It also helped that nobody else seemed to like him. <laughs> they all had very negative views of him. In fact, are they still... Is he even in here anymore? His name is Mance? Manx? Manx? With an X? Actually, Fallout may not have been here. No, he's not even in this list anymore. So, they've just completely forgotten about him. <laughs> a tyrant tea farm that forced tea dependent on my vote. <laughs> yeah, man. That's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> tea farm. I don't think I can make tea, can I? That's from one of the DLCs, I think. Uh, where am I looking for you? Give me cocoa. Might be good, actually. Of course, smoke leaf and cycloid. Yeah, no tea. Unfortunately, I would like to make tea. I love tea. Oh, let's also get these out of the way. Vanilla farming expansion? Yeah, I think probably ideology or empire. One of those. Maybe even biotech. I mean, biotech has bio in it, so it makes sense to be biotech. One of those DLCs, which I haven't played at all. Fire? Fire, fire. Oh, that's not good. It is in the home area, though, so they should go and put it out, actually. Oh, the mod creator commented on one of your posts? That's awesome. Nice, yeah. That's one of those things that I would take a screenshot of and just kind of hold it in a folder for years and years and years. <laughs> Maybe even print it out. I don't know where I put it, though. That's awesome, though. Oh, let's open this door, by the way. Uh, this one open? Yeah, okay. Oh, did we get all those chairs built? We did. Cool. What about... Oh, I never actually made those chairs. Should I make them these? I mean, I don't have a whole lot of gold. Okay, wait. I have a decent amount of gold, but it's not a huge amount. Uh, oh, burning cactus. I don't think I've found any gold veins. I need to carry this ship, too. Because how far is it? Okay, it's not that far yet. This is a defoliator, so this will kill all my plants as it grows. It's growing very slowly. Five a day? Okay. <laughs> Still can get get over Mume's room? Yeah, I mean... It's Mume's room, what did you expect? <laughs> A little bit of fire, some knives. It's all good. I'm sure she would love it <laughs> in real life. Especially since the fire doesn't actually do anything. I mean, if the fire was turning it into a furnace, obviously they would not have that in there like that. Okay, gold. We have jade there. Steel. 
Alpha Poly, are we mining this at all? Looks like a little bit. Steel, steel, class steel, steel, jade. Yeah, I don't think we found any gold. So I found some silver, or silver, and uranium. Major break risk. Dude, Gumpy. Gumpy has this bad habit of whenever he gets, like, seriously injured, he will be up and walking around within, like, an hour and just not care. And then he gets mad about it. <laughs> it's like, Gumpy, yeah, go sleep. Go lay down. Stop working. There have been several times where he has been severely injured and riddled with, like, bullet holes and stuff, but he, he's a survivor. <laughs> and what's the gifts? Components? Okay, cool. We then we bury Beatrice. Where did I put it? Over here. Uh, nope. Still working on it. Still have her body, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I also need to turn this on for them to shred the mechanoids and try and not get buried in the warehouse. Yeah, they have to kind of fight their way through all this stuff, don't they? Yeah, I don't have the best solution for storage all the time. Like, I have all these skips and stuff, which... Actually, why are these empty? Are these being used for... Yeah, they're stone blocks, but I guess I don't have stone blocks that I need to put in there anymore. I should probably make one for steel, shouldn't I? Um, can I switch this over to steel? Yeah, my storage situation is not great. Even though I have this storage mod, which is really cool. The problem with it, though, is that it, it's really slow for them to actually pick stuff up and put stuff in them. Oh, Fauna eating at her table. With her peach tree. Which is just kind of awkwardly clipping through the table. Ignore that. Oh, right. Did we do this? Oh, oh we're still waiting for people to build stuff. Really? What are people busy doing? Using telescope. Okay. Doesn't seem super important. Mumi is probably gonna go to bed soon. She's a night owl, so. Although, is it turning in the nighttime? Damn. Okay. Iris making use of the picnic bunch. Nice. <laughs> Right, we still don't have chairs. Um, okay. I'm gonna do normal chairs. Beauty for comfort point seven. What about normal chairs? What do these have? Beauty eight points. Okay, same thing. Can you put armchairs around the table and will they use them? I would assume, yes. And if not, well... Oh well. <laughs> I can deconstruct them, no big deal. I have, I should have, a ton of cloth. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, thousand cloth, so... Oh, it has almost been two and a half hours now. So I should probably be wrapping things up for today. Uh, unfortunately, it might be another week before I can stream again. I don't know. It's always hard to tell. Oh, or steel would be useful. And I don't like having a big gap in between, between streams. Oh, found more. Titanium, nice. So, if I can, I will try and stream definitely not over the weekend, but maybe, maybe tomorrow. I doubt tomorrow, but maybe on Monday and Tuesday. And probably not Wednesday, but Thursday pretty much for sure. And then Friday again, I don't know. <laughs> take it as we, take it as it comes. Why is nobody... Oh, I still have them prioritizing hauling. Right. Okay, now they're building stuff. I was wondering why they just weren't doing anything. 
yeah, thank you for coming by. Thanks for watching. It's always a lot more fun when there's actually somebody to interact with and chat with. So appreciate you being here. And then anybody else that's around too, even if you're just lurking, that's cool too. Um, yeah, I am going to wrap it up. Yeah, I'm finishing already. It has been almost two and a half hours, believe it or not. And I usually try to only stream for about two hours, so. Yeah, thank you. I feel like we got a good amount done. Quick recap. Got pretty far with room atomics. Uh, opened up our hollow popsicle gotchas. Didn't find any, unfortunately. Any, no hollow mems. Still have the ship part to deal with. We had a couple of scary raids. One that was full of people with grenades that luckily they got brought down here and then another mechanoid raid where they tried to breach this wall so that was scary uh we also lost beatrice rip beatrice so that's our first colonist that has unintentionally died so probably gonna escape for getting all the hollow mems yeah i feel like it'd be kind of crazy if he got all of them. <laughs> Beto? Yeah, she won't be forgotten. She was our first normal person to join us, so... I find it kind of funny how the game has automatically put all the hollow mems on this side, and all the normal colonists on this side. I don't think that's intentional. Huh. Because it's not in the order that they joined, for sure, because I know... Before I would join me from Mokka. Anyway. No, I'm, I haven't moved them at all. <laughs> the game just did that by itself. It's like the game knows that they need to be together. So next time, uh, I'm going to continue room atomics and get this cleaned up. Still need to take care of the ship, which should be a big deal. Um, What else? Get our dining room situation sorted out power sorted out yeah mm, yep <laughs> need to be focusing on that hopefully somebody will repair this and actually are these hooked up down here yeah they are okay mm. so yeah need to deal with power next time but that's next time <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me it's been fun i love doing this so I will see you at least next week, maybe sooner. We'll see. All right. Later. You guys take care too. <laughs>